Outlast Whistleblower DLC Short Review. Waylon Park is the whistleblower who emailed Miles Upshore in the original Outlast, and in this, we see what happened to, to Waylon after he sent that email. This is more or less a discount version of Outlast itself, but if you really, really got into Outlast, there's definitely some, some stuff here that you're gonna like, and it's not all a retread. I would say you get more into the the main variants that you are being like yeah that that spend time pursuing you and such the and and they're also somewhat more interesting and unlike Chris Walker their designs are also really like Chris Walker is basically just a really big, really strong guy. That's okay, but that's kind of boring. In this, you have this really slim, creepy cannibal, and you have this really old-fashioned guy with these insanely bloodshot eyes who wants to make you his bride. And yes, that does mean castration. That's one of the places where this goes extremely far in just how brutal and nasty it is, even compared to Outlast. And I've read suggested that they put things in this that they didn't think they would get away with in Outlast itself. But it does somewhat work here. It This is more driven by the gore, and thus has more of a a forward momentum than a lot of Outlast has. There are not a lot of overall changes you can do and do do more or less what you do in Outlast. And there's not a lot added to the story, but you do the this adds scope to the ending of Outlast and also expands somewhat upon it and there there are yeah there, there are definitely things where you you do get more into several of the the variants that you pass including ones that aren't really major you know that that just maybe feel ever present in a certain area at least or or the like the the level design is a bit of um, a step down it's it's you know, environments are bland uninspired incredibly linear and feels it and you know copy paste is much less memorable you do at least go to a few distinctly different areas than the main, but you do also go back to the prison and you see another area of the recreational areas. But all in all, it's it's fine. If you really, really like Outlast and you find this on sale, I would definitely recommend it. But for sure, if you were not sold on Outlast, this is not going to change your mind. It's not overall as good as Outlast, and yeah, it's 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 not going to change how you feel about Outlast as a whole. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise. The links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.